In the 90s, we did a lot of horizontal hood piercings. They're super fun and real decorative. Today, we predominantly do the vertical hood piercing. I think it's time to start bringing back the horizontal piercing, the HCH. The horizontal clitoral hood is basically a horizontal piercing on the clitoral hood, a little higher up, and it's generally done with some sort of a ring. As I was saying earlier, this is a horizontal piercing through the clitoral hood, generally about three eighths of an inch to maybe a half an inch above the actual clitoris. The whole purpose of this is more decorative, but if you're wearing a captive bead ring, the bead will rest directly on the clitoris itself. Now, as far as this being anatomy dependent piercing, it is very anatomy dependent. When you're actually standing, you need to have the clitoral hood mound area protruding outside of the body. The reason this is important is when the piercing's in there, the piercing, the ring can't be contorted or twisting when sitting or standing. So it's very anatomy dependent. And also a lot of people get these pierced with captive bead rings or circular barbells. I prefer piercing with circular barbells because the gap in the circular barbell can actually tuck down and hold the piercing in place so it doesn't move around as much, allowing a much easier healing process. And another thing I wanna add is you should pierce this at a minimum of a 14 gauge, possibly even larger or thicker, so it doesn't have that ripping or tearing effect. It is much more comfortable at a larger size. Now the nice thing about genital piercings is there is a lot of blood flow to the area, therefore it generally heals nice and quick. With something like this, I would expect a minimum of probably a month and a half to two months, maybe up to three to four months if you're having a rough heel. Now the reason you would have a rough heel is if the Jew is spinning and rotating, or if you sit down and the Jew is twisting and contorting. Again, this needs to be in a stationary position, and a lot of times if you use that circular barbell, it's gonna hold it in that position so you can heal this up nice and easy. Now the most common problems is the jewelry getting caught on undergarments, getting caught your clothes and also not checking the beads with those circular barbells and the bead coming off and the jewelry falling out so check your beads there's a lot of movement in this area so this is kind of a sensitive area and it seems like that area is kind of thick but the tissue isn't too tough what do you think let's check out the painometer You know, with most genital piercings, you expect it to be a lot higher. It's still up there, but it's still totally worth getting done. Now, if you don't have the proper anatomy for a vertical clitoral hood piercing, maybe you're a good candidate for this horizontal one. It's an awesome piercing. Now, the one thing I do like to let everyone know is the VCH, the vertical one, typically you get a little bit more stimulation because the bead actually rests on the clitoris itself. Now, the theory here with the horizontal one is that if you put a captive bead ring, the bead rests on the clitoris itself, but it actually is kind of held up a little bit, so it's more of a decorative piercing. You might get a little stimulation out of there, but don't expect a lot. So if you're looking to get into genital piercings, this is actually a really good one to start with. It's not crazy painful, they heal really nice, and it's really decorative and pretty. So, am I a fan of it? Definitely a fan of this one. So have you had an HCH before? Let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Now, if you enjoy my video, make sure you subscribe to see all future videos, hit the like button, and of course, keep putting holes in your body. We'll see you all in the next video.